Hi, I'm Ry Jones, one of the community architects for Hyperledger. I'm here today with my coworker, David Boswell, to talk to you about getting involved with Hyperledger. Thanks, Ry. Um, the first thing I want people to know about how to get involved is that we want you. It's an open source project and it wouldn't exist if people like you didn't step up and get involved. Hyperledger is a technical community that is 100% open and it is led by a diverse group of technical contributors. And if you've never participated in an open source community before, that's okay, you can still get involved. And here are a few tips that will help you get comfortable. First, feel free to alert. There's no obligation to get involved in conversations and contributions right away. We encourage you to dial into a meeting or join a mailing list and just listen in to understand what's happening. And please don't wait for an invitation. Everything is open and we mean that. All our meetings, all our mailing lists, our, all our chat channels, you can just show up. You don't have to have anybody invite you to them. And lastly, be aware that we have a code of conduct. If you do get involved in the community, we wanna make sure that you have a safe and pleasant experience. And we do take the code of conduct seriously and do enforce it. So feel free to take a look at that. Uh, we'll put a link in the description below. There are a lot of leadership roles in Hyperledger. If you wanna shape the direction of Hyperledger, we welcome you to step up into any of these leadership roles. You can become a project maintainer. The process differs from project to project. So check the documentation for the project that you're interested in. You can become a TSC member. The main technical governing body of the community is composed of active contributors that are elected every year to the technical steering committee. Activity in the TSC mailing list and the regular calls is a good way to learn more about the nomination and voting process. You can also become a chair of either one of the special interest groups or working group or create a new special interest group or working group and chair that as well. Um, Similar to the TSC and project maintainer process, each working group and special interest group has a process for electing a new chair. So take a look at that group's wiki to learn more. You can also become a leader in your local community. Each Hyperledger meetup group has an organizer or organizers who run that group. And we also have regional chapters that are led by community members in those areas who are bringing together other community members to run activities in that area. And lastly, if you are at an organization and you want to take a leadership position in the community, be aware that Hyperledger also has a membership structure where organizations can have a formal relationship with the project and support and lead the community. If you have any questions, please feel free to send us an email, info at hyperledger.org.